Ah, uh, would you look at that? Clearly, we are at peace with the world and able to go ahead and calm the nature gods for whatever their needs might be so that we can go... Oh, oh, wait, what's happening over here? Wait, what's going on? Who is that? Hello? Oh, your local girl just became, like, infatuated. Kit Kat Dot and your local girl are now infatuated. Aw, a kiss out of nowhere. What a fun way to go ahead and, like, start things. Though, it looks like, um, to be completely honest, I, 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 I think that local girl kissed Dino Dave and then became infatuated <laughs> with somebody else over at the corner. Like, okay. All right, local girl, um, Dino Dave, uh, wow, okay, I'm sure they've all figured that out together. Um, didn't expect that. <laughs> Beware, a doom event is coming soon. Prepare for it, for it may be the end of the village. Yes, well, I don't know. Maybe if everyone's gonna like, oh, <clears throat> oh dear. Well, maybe researching the um, bunny blanket maker is indeed a reason that doom might lurk over our village. But alas, we... And oh, look at that baby bunny! Is it supposed to be over here? Because your local girl, like, Kit Kat Nat is over there. Dino Dave is over there. Um, just to recap, like, I saw that correctly, didn't I? Like, Kit Kat Nat infatuated with your local girl. Okay, and Dino Dave, I think, was... Okay. All right, that's fine, that's fine. Like I said, I'm sure they're all gonna figure it out together. Um, oh, look at the baby bunnies in the bunny like area now. Oh, okay, that's totally not going to make some of the other things that we might have appearing any harder. Um, but yes, well, hello everyone, and welcome back to our village of Uphill Both Ways, where we are doing what we can to fight against the Doom Heat event that is going to be arriving in a few days, thanks to Whisper of the Wind and Pseudo Fishy working those fans. Uh, I'm not terribly concerned, however, we could use more hands uh, around to go ahead and help us to placate the nature gods and tend to this land as best we can. Unfortunately, sometimes being able to help the nature gods means we must uh, also take from them. Ergo, we're, we're gonna need we're gonna need to be able to get more leather, you guys. <laughs> and honestly, like if we're really legitimately honestly going ahead and trying to do it as um, Innocently, perhaps, is a strong word. Uh, with the least amount of harm possible. The truth is that actually having the butcher who can get us five bunny blankets per bunny uh, versus the hunter who can only get us two per bunny is going to make everybody less unhappy than if we had to like hunt a bunch of the like wild rabbits. So between that and then going ahead and trying to get a larger tent set up, I think we're gonna be able to really make the bunny blanket stretch and not have to not have to go through too many of our bunnies. But just in case that isn't the case, we are also preparing peace tents as soon as we can. Um, ironically, maybe the performer's stall would be better because the peace tents also need to have um, a whole bunch of the leather and they also need hemp. But if we had the performer's stall, then we could actually get a little bit more out of it. Hmm. Maybe we should research the performer stall because then we just need like a knife ma master and they can also work as paper uh, crafters. So, and we need paper if we're going to have the huge fan, which could really help keep things cool in the heat of summer. And apparently the heat of like... Like I said, not gonna question that relationship, even if it did kind of throw me off <laughs> and make me stumble a little bit. So actually, yeah, reviewing all of that and giving it a little bit of thought, it does indeed begin to make some sense that we might want to go ahead, research large tent, hmm. We need simple food, could use some seeds. Chestnut trees aren't any good until autumn. 
being able, we have some hemp fields we can take care of now, which is awesome because we made the nature gods so happy. Getting some simple food or some grog would be really important, but the number one priority should probably be surviving the hot summer and making sure we can have more buildings. And thinking through all of that, giving it a matter of consideration, I do think that we will go ahead and we will focus on a large tent for now. More room for our villagers to be in will mean that we make use of every bit of bunny blanket that we have, and we shall not waste any sacrifice that may or may not occur. Also, I, if we need to go ahead and build the butchers, I'm going to put it way over here in the corner <laughs> where hopefully we'll be able to like, you know, just stay out of everybody's sight more or less. And we're going to put a little rabbit hutch right there because <laughs> it's just what needs to happen. I know I'm making it dramatic, but come on, it's, it's, it's going to be part of the story. And it just, you know, sometimes you just have to. All right, let's see. You have to be a little more dramatic, I mean, because eh, it's fun. All right, so Ginger Fury, we might actually have you become a professional farmer so that we can go ahead and harvest from these hemp fields if we had basic tools, which we don't. Uh, however, we could go ahead and work on the workbench, I suppose? I mean, we could learn that one pretty quick, so we probably need to do that, oh my gosh. Because we need more hemp and other things. Okay, it is one thing after another. And not enough, not enough people in our village to help out with making sure that we can tend the land and not let these uh, gods send all of nature out of balance. Also, where the heck did we... What? Oh my gosh. How do we have so much nature essence? I think it's because we're growing things. I can't remember how much we get for growing things. And I don't know how to check like the powers that I have as the current elder. So, dang, that's kind of cool. All right, so all of that said in a very convoluted manner, sorry about that, it's just, there's a lot going on. We are gonna go ahead and we are going to have the paper maker added into this area where they will be able to make much paper that hopefully will go ahead and supply us with many excellent thoughts. And speaking of excellent thoughts, I do believe we also have, yeah, there's the paper maker. And then we also have the scriptorium that we could indeed research. Plus one of paper maker within one, plus two if knowledge maker within two. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to start putting the paper maker down. There we go. Just to make sure that we start getting that built since we have enough stone. Dino Dave is going to need to help with getting that stone and then we'll build a path to this house. So clearing path to this house. And then we will put the scriptorium up here so that our druids can observe the behavior of the wild bunnies and learn a lot from it. Excellent. <laughs> Like, uh, and your local girl is just over in the corner building a cute little bunny hutch. Boy. All right. I know it seems like it's a little convoluted, but we're going to make it work. Boy, I hope we have enough food. We need more people to help us gather more food. <laughs> Hang in there, everyone. All right. Oh, baby bunny. All right, now we need someone to lure the little bunny uh, into the hutch, please, from over here. Um, and then we also need someone to come over here and put a blanket collector down for absolutely no reason whatsoever at all of anyone's concern. No one should be concerned about this. Also, I don't know if we're going to be able to keep enough cool. Interesting. We might... We might need another one of those fans. I might go ahead and see about having that happen, but we're gonna need more hemp in order to do that. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to need to build another fan, <laughs> but not one that needs a watcher or else we're gonna have a little bit of a problem. Let's just casually build one over here for no reason. No reason at all. Okay, I'm sure it's all gonna be fine. <laughs> Like, of course it's all gonna be fine. 
Okay, lure has now been completed, so we have another bunny! Oh, that's so cute. And we gained some hope from, like, your local girl being in love, which is excellent, because we're gonna need that in a little bit here. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and have this table built over in the corner. Um, and then we are going to make sure we have some more cold being generated right now, thanks to Gizmosy Chaos. Because we're actually neck and neck, like 10 and 10, with the heat and then with the cold. And we need to be defeat it, like, really hardcore if we are going to be able to go ahead and be able to get um, the boon from defeating the doom. Because if you can defeat one of the dooms, you do indeed get a boon that will actually help you out. So let's actually have Marsh stop researching for just a moment because building another one of the fans, if we can, just in case, might be really helpful. Dang, because I need people gathering the hemp. Okay, actually, your local girl, we're going to take a break from doing that for just a second so we don't have to build the, the table of um, blanket making. And we'll put another fan over here just for the minute. There we go. Like I said, a little convoluted because we have to use up the resources we're gathering exactly at this moment. We're also really low on food, so everyone's going to need to come into the tomato fields and gather some handfuls of tomatoes. Not to alarm everyone. <laughs> Might go ahead and gather these plums as well. I think I can get even more harvest off the plums. Now we've got the workbench research to be able to work on some of those tools. Very helpful. Let's see. Yeah, the plums will actually give us uh, eight plums a day. So we're going to focus on plum collecting for a hot minute. And then your local girl, I need you to finish building this, please. And then Lord Thunder is doing some of the research. Marsh is helping out with pushing harder at the attempt to defeat the doom. Because otherwise I think everything can catch on fire. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Okay. Definitely keeping us on our toes. Definitely keeping us on our toes, but that's okay. Uh, and I think we might put some effort into the scriptorium now because that could give us a lot more. Like, I think we have like a maximum of three research at the moment and the totems are wonderful and interesting and definitely going to go ahead and try to leave some totems behind that don't need... Do they all need druids actually? Darn, they all need druids. We'll definitely leave them around as decorations and uh, honorary celebrations for the many rabbits that have joined us. But the scriptorium would provide three, four, five, six, a lot more. Basically double. So having a scriptorium would be fantastic. Let's put that down. And then... Hmm. All right. Uh, some creatures require food. Like, the people. Oh, are the bunnies also eating it? Oh, the bunnies are also eating our food. Okay. Okay. So, Kit Kat Nat. <laughs> okay, you need to do that. Um, okay, Lord Thunder, we might need a break from going ahead and doing research, unfortunately. Because we need more people <laughs> to be able to get enough of everything. Um, and again, ironically, you're a local girl. I might need you to stop for a moment and gather plums. Because we don't want to be plum out of luck, you know. All right, pushing, pushing. Come on, group. 55% chance we can do this. No. All right, we're going to have to push harder. Oh, I should have been piling that up. I, I can't believe it's adding up that fast. This is what happens because we really were taking for granted the fact that we didn't need to worry about those earlier ones. All right, we're gonna keep pushing. I think we'll be able to gather enough cold in time. And I think we'll be able to gather enough food today, which means, all right, Ginger Fury, I might need you to be the one to come over here and take care of the the table of sorrows. <laughs> That'll do, That'll do as a name. And also Kit Kat Nat, we are going to need more of those tomatoes to keep all of us on our toes, it seems. There we are, there we are, gathering plenty of the, the tomatoes, it, it, surviving off of the prophecy plums, I see. 
I don't think that's going to be enough cold, but trying to balance all of this, well, we'll see what happens. All right. Okay, I think we might make it, maybe. So let's just keep pushing. We're going to pull in some more plums. We're going to go ahead and gather more tomatoes. I think everybody is literally doing something very important, mostly prophecy plums and like fanning the rabbits. <laughs> and I should probably be gathering plums to get more food, actually. Okay, instead of tomatoes. Oh dear. And now we have a, 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 a table of sorrows built. So I have to train somebody on how to use it. Ah. Ooh, all right. Well, we're going to need to go ahead and we are going to need to have someone. Oh my gosh, we need tools. I love it. And to get tools, we need wood. And to get wood, we need to have more people <laughs> gathering wood. All right, so we get five plums there, five plums here, so we can get ahead on the food a little bit. So maybe I don't need everybody on food duty, maybe? Because if I do this, is that gonna give me enough wood to build the workbench? Requires one wood maker within one. I could build it here for now. And then would I be able to pull Okay, Dino Dave, I do think that we might have a chance to go ahead and allow you to help us craft some tools so that we can try to make the best of this situation, even if it does mean having a table of sorrows. Oh man, it may not be a 100% chance this time, and I may have had to pivot like suddenly, which I wasn't expecting. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, one day left. But, haha, -ha, as long as we can stay ahead like this, then we're okay. The downside is that we have a whole bunch of hungry creatures that require food. <laughs> so, let's see. We don't need the wood collecting today, at least. Um, we do need the food, so we can have people work over there. We'll lose plums because they're over the cap. Does that mean we have to have, I think, yeah, the tomatoes. So they're eating the tomatoes. Interesting. So, and their food is unknown. I think it's vegetables, like carrots and stuff, but we don't have carrots. So instead it's these veggies. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, well, we're gathering tomatoes for the, um, the bunnies and we are going ahead getting the tool maker done. And we should be able to survive this doom because we worked hard together, despite the fact that we are an extremely tiny village whose population could definitely use with a strong boost, please. Na 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 na. <laughs> See, that's more like it. Having to go ahead and stay on my toes right as we face one of the dooms. I love it. Ahem. <clears throat> so. Wait, I remember that after the Doom event was averted, the village was different. We could have a surge of knowledge and gain 30 knowledge right now. We could have wider borders. We could have healthier crops. I think we're going to understand the layout of the land even better and have wider borders now, which are definitely going to help with just being able to see things better. Na 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 na, take that heat, do Doom, hey, take that, na 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 na. Huzzah! Yay! <laughs> All right, and look at how much neater everything looks because we can have wider borders now, so we won't need to worry about the signs being in quite as many places. Huh, because even if they were, it would just be a sign of our success, eh? Eh? Doom schmoom. We thought the doom brought upon us, but I sense that is not the end. I see it now. Newer and stronger challenges are coming. Bring it on. Maybe I shouldn't say that too quickly. The prophecy is clearer in my mind. Let me tell you what fate has in store for us. Okay. Fear, fear, heat, cataclysm, cataclysm. This is it. We must strive to reach the next doom event. Remember, this will not be the last. All right, all right, but you know, we got this. Little bit of fear, little bit of cataclysm, little bit of, I think, heat, maybe? 
I see. I see we have been cursed. An omen is coming for us. Something bad will happen. We're just going to have to, like, uh, kick it in the face then. Also, we're going to need something that generates a lot more of uh, the hope than that. And also, I'm going to need some wood. <laughs> All right, my friends. Uh, well, we're also going to need to train a tool maker, and it looks like it's Marumello. <laughs> It is certainly one thing after another after another, but that is simply the cost of life here in the village, is it not? And we shall do what we can to make the most of everything, to make sure that all of the little creatures that live within our borders will hopefully be as well taken care of uh, as we can make them, and to also make sure that we keep everything in a beautiful balance. So that then we can go ahead and finish the apocalypse by planting a bunch of flower fields and hosting our own plum festival to show that elder over in that village of Are We There You how it's done. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.